Maureen Whitehouse, a spiritual teacher and a miracle mentor. This clip you're about to watch is from a much longer talk I gave to my subscribers in the Miracle Meeting Place. It's an online program and community I made for people who want to experience more miracles in their lives. If that sounds like you, check out the link in the description below. And if you resonate with anything I say in this video, please click that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I release new clips and videos every week and I don't want you to miss a beat. Thanks. Why do I feel like I work hard to be successful, but then hide from acknowledgement or from that sought after success? It's a really great question. I think it's a dilemma for many people in the world that they feel like they work and work and work. And then just when they're about to have an accomplishment, somehow, you know, the bottom drops out. And you would imagine that that, you know, oh, that's just the way life is, nothing's guaranteed. But when we start to look at the fact that, you know, we are divine and our experience of life is like our creation, our movie playing out in front of us, when things become manifested or created on planet Earth in a way that they feel complete, it's because you start where you're going to finish. You start connected in a place of completion. You allow yourself to feel, does this feel happy, joyful for me? Do I wanna play at this all day, every day, if it takes that kind of effort here for this to be accomplished? Can I devote my time and stay in a really connected space that I feel like even the little tedious parts of this endeavor are fulfilling in themselves? I can let go of attachment to results because from the very beginning, I felt connected. Now you said that you work hard to be successful, but then hide from the acknowledgement from that sought after success. Pay attention for a moment that we can work at things, but we don't have to work hard. That often, when we're working hard, it's because we're feeling separate from our divine self that does things in an effortless way, meaning that it chooses to love things first before it jumps in. It chooses to love it and then experience what it feels like to love it. So if you can show up to anything and say, I don't know what it is, but I love it. Where's the success in that? You're, you're attaining it right in that moment. When you can say, I'm putting my whole heart and soul into this and it feels so great to be so present and to be so full of this experience, then whatever happens, whatever the outcome, that's a success. Our connectivity to things in life, our love of things of life are the great success that we're seeking. So feeling that sense of accomplishment of feeling our own self-love is really important. And um, we put that often on the back burner when we work so hard to accomplish things, thinking that we'll feel better if we get the you know, good opinions of other people or the accolades from other people, when really it's that connection, that deep connection with ourselves that we're seeking. And when we have that, everything else feels fulfilling and successful.